Mark Weather Show. Breaking coverage here on this major coastal system, blizzard, coastal beach erosion, and all kinds of other problems with this system, along with major wind. But let's take a look at a viewer sent in photo here. Jeff Morgan from upstate New York, the Johnson City area. This is in the Susquehanna River Basin. As you can see, this was taken last Friday and a very nice ending to a work week. And as you can see, this kind of weather is just around the corner for springtime. We'll be seeing those warmer temperatures. Very nice sky here as the sun was setting. Let's take a look at some precipitation amounts here with this system in the New England area up towards uh, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick here. Look at this. This system, more than two inches of liquid equivalent. That's going to be mostly frozen precipitation. Here along the Gulf Coast, stalled out frontal boundaries and some tropical moisture should allow you to get in on some heavy precipitation in the form of rain. And here in the Pacific Northwest, not good news for this mudslide uh, stricken area here. More wet weather and heavy rains, three to five inches more on the way. This is bad news for the Pacific Northwest. So let's take a look at, uh, this is a map here. Of course, you have the northeastern part of the United States, Boston up through Portland, uh, Maine here, New England. Then you got uh, New Brunswick. And then right in the center of the map here, you got Nova Scotia and New Finland up here to the northeast. Now this system's going to push right up east of New England here, and it's going to push just south of uh, Nova Scotia, although it could push on shore just east of Halifax here, uh, changing over a lot of the heavy wet snow over to sleet, freezing rain, and over to rain for a period of time, and then back to heavy wet snow. And then Newfoundland will be quite a mess as well with snow, sleet, freezing rain, and rain likely with this system. Now, snowfall amounts in the United States I have in inches. However, here across New Brunswick, and then over towards Nova Scotia, we could see a solid 40 to 50 centimeters of snow, which is well over 15 to 20 inches of snow in inches terms. So we're going to be looking for that, but the big story will be the wind and the coastal flooding and beach erosion. The biggest concern here, Cape Cod up through eastern Maine, where we could be seeing coastal flooding, beach erosion, anywhere from four to eight feet or higher in many areas over towards New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. That's where we could be getting ocean rises well on the order of uh, in the four to eight foot range, possibly higher in that two to three meter range. So this is not looking very good over towards Newfoundland here. There is going to be a lot of wind with this system too. So let's take a look at that wind. Wind field with this system is huge. This system is going to become like a bomb here just east of Maine and south and east here of Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, where we'll see on the order of 70 to 80 knot winds here. Those are category one, category two force winds here across Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. And back towards Cape Cod, eastern Maine and New Brunswick, we could see those Wind gusts on the order of 60 knots, which is about 65, 68 miles per hour in many areas. So not looking very good for these areas. So heed those coastal flood warnings, those blizzard warnings, all those high wind warnings and advisories. This is looking very bad for the area. And of course, let's take a look at that surface map for your Wednesday. System blowing up off the New England coast here. Most of the heaviest precipitation should remain offshore so the big story is is the howling winds the damaging winds and of course heavy wet snow can bring down trees and power lines on cape cod eastern maine up through new brunswick and then over towards portions of nova scotia and, and newfoundland however let's look at those snowfall totals here stateside and into new brunswick and parts of western nova scotia this is in inches of course you take portions of eastern Cape Cod, six to 10 inches solid, maybe upwards of a foot on the eastern tip over towards eastern Maine. That's where we could get on the 12 to 15, 16 inches over towards New Brunswick. So this is looking very heavy. New Brunswick over to Nova Scotia, as I said, 40 to 50 centimeters of snow. That's quite a bit in the way of heavy, wet snow. So keep it here at Meteo Mark. Things are going to get worse here on Wednesday and Thursday before they get better as this system goes down between 955 and 960 millibars. This system is very strong and it will get stronger 
by the hour. I will have a complete five-day outlook here for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com. Here's that five-day outlook for my hometown viewers in the Susquehanna region of New York, Susquehanna region of Northeast Pennsylvania. Look at these numbers here. We're going up towards the low to mid-50s by Friday. We start out cold. Look at this. Friday, quarter to half an inch of liquid equivalent precipitation. Saturday and Sunday, we get up into the low to mid-50s and then sneak preview of next week we could be seeing highs in the lower 60s to start out your new work week that's going to do it here at media mark